On this episode of Cheesing It Up, we look at a northern Italian cheese, Fontina. Stay tuned. Fontina cheese may not be as well known as some of its Italian cousins, including Parmesan, mozzarella, gorgonzola. However, Fontina cheese does carry its own very rich history, dating back to the 1200s. This cheese is born in very northern Italy, bordering Switzerland, in a place called the Aosta Valley, which is about two hours northwest of Milan. This is considered to be a very historical place, often referred to as Little Rome of the Alps, because of the number of archaeological Roman ruins, and because it's situated in the Alps. It also has very, very deep ties to medieval times, with around 150 medieval structures still standing, including some magnificent castles among very, very picturesque views of the Alps. One really cool fact about Fontina cheese, it's actually the very first cheese in the European Union to receive a protected name, meaning that in order for a cheese to be considered Fontina or called Fontina, it needs to come from cows in the Iusta Valley. That's a non-negotiable. No cheese can be labeled Fontina in any other part of the world. If it is made in other parts of the world, there's other types of name characteristics you may see. You might see it listed as Fontal, Fontella, or Fontanella is also probably three of the more common names you may see. It's designed to be a very similar cheese to Fontina. However, it is not made with cows from the Aosta region. Let's now go ahead and we're gonna start slicing up this cheese and give it a try. Oh, can I get a try? Okay, this is a pretty sharp knife, so let me cut it for you first. Can I just taste it? Mm hmm So this cheese today actually came from Trader Joe's, and it was roughly around $6.99 a pound, which is extremely good price for cheese. You may see some of the Fontina cheeses go for up to $14, $15 a pound, but it's really that $7 to $15 range is a, a sweet spot for Fontina. It's creamy. It's creamy? Mm hmm It's a very, very mild cheese. Pick up a yeah. slight nuttiness. Maybe some similar properties to uh, mozzarella cheese as well. Mm -hmm. But we describe this more as a semi soft or semi hard cheese versus mozzarella, which is very light. So, in summary, this cheese is very, very mild. I will say that if you like mozzarella cheeses, you'll probably like this cheese as well. Slightly different flavor profiles, but you definitely pick up some of those mozzarella properties. Uh, however, I will say that there's a slight nuttiness associated with it, and mozzarella cheese has a little bit more creaminess. I want more. You want more? Man, you really like this cheese today. Well, thanks for tuning in with us, and until next time, keep cheesing it up. I'm going to play with my trains. You want to go play with the trains? Yeah. Let's go do it. Okay, here we go. A cheese to go? You got your cheese to go. We'll see you next time. Can so, I do it? Well, well we're, not going to cut, we're not cutting it right now. We're going, to, we're going to talk about it first, and then we're going to eat it, okay? Can I talk about it? Yeah, what do you want to talk about? It's called Fontina. Is it called Fontina? And a, it's a little bit sharper. Is it? Yeah. What do you like about it? I like it like a little cheese in here. That's right. What does it smell like? Um, it smells like creamy. You do it now. <laughs> it smells creamy? Italy. Italy? <laughs> Italy. Say, this cheese was born in northern Italy. That's what you got to say. Three, two, one, go. It's born in, it's in Italy.